welcome dear viewers to the video on whole time studies in the pharmaceutical industry in this topic we are going to learn about the whole time studies their objectives how these studies are performed why these whole time studies are performed what is the importance and regulatory requirement so be with me till the end of this video and after watching this video you will be able to answer many of the questions related to the whole time studies so what is whole time study see whenever the manu manufacturing is done for pharmaceutical product pharmaceutical formulation so there are various stages involved and these stages are like intermediate stages or somewhat semi finished type of stages so some time is required for making the formulation and during this time different materials are processed different intermediate materials are prepared and these are processed through different processes and then the finalized formulation is prepared so whole time studies are conducted to determine how long intermediate and bulk materials can be held during various stages of production without compromising the quality safety or efficacy of the finalized formulation and the objective of the whole time study is to establish acceptable hold time for drug components in process materials and finished product to ensure that the they remain within the specification before moving to the next manufacturing step and that's why the quality safety and efficacy can be guaranteed then next point is why whole time is done or what is the importance of the whole time first is ensuring the product quality then regulatory compliance and process efficiency so drug product should meet the predetermined specifications throughout the production so whole time studies are done so that the degradation or contamination can be prevented during the hold period during the manufacturing sometime during manufacturing some breakdown may happen sometime during the production the other product might be going on in the manufacturing area so you have to hold the in process material that time hold time studies will help you to ensure the product quality regulatory compliance so regulatory bodies uh, like ema fda who and in other uh, country specific regulatory bodies are asking for the whole time studies and whole time data so these regulatory bodies require whole time validation to prove that the product remains stable during the production hold periods and whatever the hold period you are going to assign for the intermediate stage till that whole time the whole time study should be done then process efficiency establishing whole time helps the manufacturers to optimize the production scheduling ensuring that materials can be held for reasonable periods without compromising the quality so the hold material should also be able to get processed in the next step for example you are making a tablet and you are holding the lubricated granules or lubricated blend so that lubricated blend after hold period should be processable for compression so process efficiency can be studied by hold time studies 
then critical stages of manufacturing that require whole time studies raw material storage to ensure the raw materials like api drug substances and raw materials like excipients are stable during the storage before use intermediate products like granules blend or some other material after processing steps such as granulation blending or filtration considering the injectable uh, products the materials are open held before further processing generally in the injectables hold time is very short for some liquid products after filtration and before filling the hold time should be established hold times are required to ensure stability between these stages bulk products bulk drug formulations like suspension tablets may be held before packaging whole time studies confirm the stability of the bulk form so for example if you have manufactured the tablet formulation and if you want to pack those tablets into number of different packs so you you will require some time to uh, complete the packaging activity that time will be the whole time then packaging stage after formulation but before final packaging products might be held for an extended period whole time ensure that there is no degradation before final packaging now coming to the key parameters assessed in the whole time studies so chemical stability study is there physical properties are studied microbiological integrity and microbiological load or uh, microbial contamination is studied moisture content is studied and also you can study as you can uh, study those parameters which are linked to the uh, uh, particular product and the processing steps so chemical uh, stability ensure the degradation physical properties like appearance dissolution rate viscosity then microbial integrity like microbial contamination then moisture content for hygroscopic powders lod many of the things you can study in the whole time studies for lubricated blend you can study the impurity profile you can study the flow parameters assay and also you can study the blend uniformity by reduce sampling or you can study the segregation through blend sampling so these are the key parameters to assess during whole time then process of conducting whole time studies see how the whole time studies are performed so sample collection at different stages of production samples are collected and samples are held under the controlled conditions the conditions mimic the actual production storage conditions then time points are assigned samples are tested at various time points to identify the maximum allowable hold time for example if you want to study the hold time of granules uh, or lubricated blend for 30 days then you can hold the sample and uh, study in between that 30 days like after 8 days after 15 days 21 days and at the last that is 30 days so like this samples can be studied then stability testing the samples are tested for physical chemical and microbiological properties to ensure that they remain within the specification so whole time study samples are taken from the batches and whole time study is performed many of the time special batch is taken to study the whole time at various stages like if you are making the tablet formulation that time make the blend hold it for some days study it then compress the tablet then hold the compressed tablet and go for film coating then hold the film coating tablets and then go for packaging so like this you can do the whole time studies sometimes during the batch manufacturing of executed batches 
these samples are taken out from the lubricated blend four tablet coated tablet and these are stored as per the in process packs and then the whole time study samples are analyzed now what are the regulatory re expectations and guidelines so ichq7 is there who technical report series is there and some fda guidelines are there so different guidelines are there for the whole time studies but these are depending on to the formulation type and the processes case study for example i am taking here at tablet manufacturing whole time study a pharmaceutical company manufactures tablets and want to assess the maximum time the granulated blend can be held before compression so you can make the batch you can make the blend and held it for some hours to some days and perform studies for moisture content api degradation flowability and compress compression processability after studying some outcome will be there like it was determined that the granule could be safely held for some days up to the study's time it may be days or hours without compromising the tablet quality ensuring the more flexible production schedule so whole time study will give you additional benefit of scheduling the production timelines in production many of the products are being manufactured at the same time so if the pharmaceutical organization has some emergent emergency or has some important product to uh, release into the market so that time the company may think to hold the non prior products and in that time the company will manufacture the priority products or the emergency products so whole time study will help you to have confidence on to the maintenance of the quality during this whole time now coming to the benefits of the whole time it provides uh, improved production planning reduce risk for for product rejection extended shelf life of intermediate products and regulatory confidence so whenever uh, you are going to assign or you are going to uh, provide commitment for the whole time that time this whole time study will help you for the regulatory confidence now coming to the challenges if the manufacturing process is complex it will be very difficult to identify the exact point for the whole time environmental sensitivity if products are sensitive to moisture and light then it will become difficult to have a good hold time then a resource resource will be used for conducting the comprehensive hold time studies and it requires significant time resources and expertise in conclusion we can say that uh, the hold time studies ensure the quality safety and efficacy for the pharmaceutical formulations throughout the production and help companies to remain uh, in compliance with the regulatory standards it has many benefits to the manufacturers like hold time studies provide critical data for optimizing production efficiency reducing risk and ensuring a regulatory compliance so in totality whole time studies in the pharmaceutical industry are very much important these are required to be protocol driven and these studies are performed sometime with the ongoing batches and sometimes these whole time batches are required to be taken many of the regulatory bodies are asking to take the separate whole time study batch so that in that batch not only the whole time is studied but the manufacturer can study the effect of whole time of the intermediate on to the processing like you have made the batch of tablet and you made the lubricated blend you hold that lubricated blend and then go for compression hold the compressed tablet and then go for thin coating if it is there 
and hold the film coated tablets and then go for packing. So it will give you the realistic picture of the whole time in the batch manufacturing and then give the whole time limit period for those intermediate stages and the finished formulation. So this is regarding the whole time study and this video was uh, basics for the whole time studies performed in the pharmaceutical industry and in the upcoming videos I will make more elaborative video on whole time studies. So thank you for watching the video and I request you to make uh, notes out of these videos whenever you have time so that it will give you more benefit. Then also watch these videos repeatedly so that you will not forget and you will get more and more clarity about these topics. Thank you for watching the video.